Welcome to Precision Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 59 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about generating PDF document from Grid View data and then storing that PDF document in a folder on the web server itself. In part 58 of this video series, we discussed about exporting grid view data to a PDF document and then allowing the user to download that PDF document. Now if you remember, you know, when I click this button export to PDF, this grid view data will be exported to a PDF document and at the same time that will be downloaded onto my machine. Look at this, I have this employees.pdf here. I can open that and see that as well. So when I click that button, you know, after the PDF document is generated, it is sent back to the client machine. Okay. And uh, basically what I want to do now is instead of sending that to the client machine and instead of allowing the user to download that PDF document, I want to store that in a folder on the web server itself. Obviously the first thing to do is to create that folder in our web application project. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's add a folder to our project. Right click on the project, add new folder and let's call this PDF documents. Okay, so when I click this button export to PDF, now if you haven't watched the previous session, I would strongly encourage you to do so before we, because we will be modifying the code that we developed in part 58. So when I click this button export to PDF at the moment, you know, I'm able to download the file. And why is that happening? Because if you remember, we were actually writing this PDF document to the output stream of the response object. That's why I'm able to download that. Now, instead of writing it to the output stream of the response object, I want to write it to a file stream. Because remember, what we want to achieve is I want that employees.pdf to be returned to a file and then store that in this folder PDF documents. Okay, so I'm going to use a file stream to write it to a file. Okay, and to do that, I'm going to use the file stream object for that. So file stream. And if you look at this file stream class, it has got several overloaded constructors. You know, there are 15 of them. I'm going to use the constructor which takes in these two parameters, the path of the file where you want to create that PDF file and the file mode. Okay, so how do we get the path? Okay, the path, you know, we can get the path using server.mappath function. Now, if you're new to server.mappath function, we discussed about this extensively in ASP.NET video tutorial. So please watch that video. Okay, so where do we want to write, to the, fi write the file? Now, within my web application root directory, I have this folder PDF documents. Within that, I want employees.pdf, uh, you know, PDF document file to be returned to. Okay, so to get to the root directory, first of all, we want to use server.mappath function. So server.mappath, and then to get to the root directory, I'm going to use this tilde symbol, forward slash. So within the root directory, the folder is PDF documents. So let's copy the name of the folder. And then within that PDF documents folder, I want a file with name employees.pdf. Okay, so that's the first parameter for our file stream constructor class. So what's the next parameter? The file mode itself. So file mode, and I want to create a new file. So create. That's it. So that's the first change that we want to do. Okay, so instead of writing it to the response object's output stream, now we are writing it a file stream to create this file, employees.pdf within PDF documents folder in the root directory of our web application project. Okay, the next change is we can get rid of all these lines altogether. Okay, because we are not writing any more to the response stream. So I can get those, uh, delete those lines. So let me run this now. And then when I click that button, obviously the data from the grid view control should be generated into a PDF document. And that PDF document should be stored in that folder. So export to PDF, first thing to notice, I don't have it downloaded on the client machine. Now let's go to the web application project. So that's the folder, right click on that, open folder in Windows Explorer. We should have employees.pdf there. So I open employees.pdf and I have employees data there. Okay, and one thing to notice here, this employees.pdf document is in a portrait format. Now let's say I want this to be generated in a landscape format. Is it possible? Absolutely. So if you want landscape orientation, then obviously 
look at this here we are creating the PDF document document PDF document is equal to new document and then we are specifying the page size as 4 now I can use this page size enum to specify you know I want an A4 landscape orientation look at that I'm going to use that and then uh, actually at the moment we only have you know if you look at this PDF document we only have four columns within that PDF document so we cannot really tell if it's in uh, you know landscape orientation or um, portrait orientation so let's add a few more columns to this table so I have the SQL script already here so if you look at this table TBL employee at the moment only four columns let me add another few columns here department name date of birth date of joining username etc so let me execute the script and then let me you know at the moment we have just added the columns so obviously all of them will be null so we need to update each row with some sample data and I have this update script already here so let me execute this update script and let's now select the data so we have some uh, dummy data there now if you need the SQL script I will have this available on my blog so you can download it from there so now with this change let's go ahead and rerun the application so now the grid view should load the new additional columns as well alright so within the grid view now we have department date of birth date of joining these additional columns Now let's export to PDF okay so if you remember we are using A4 landscape format so let's go to that folder open the employees now we should expect this to be generated in a landscape format but actually it's still in portrait format okay so let me actually go to 100% here so that's still in portrait okay so let's see then how to achieve the landscape orientation to do that instead of using this a4.landscape it's a known issue it, you know this doesn't work as expected what I'm going to do here you can specify the page size as normal a4 and then I can use this function you know PDF document dot there's something called set page size and then here we can specify the page size I'm going to specify the page size as a4 dot and there is a function called rotate so we are going to rotate the A4 so that we get landscape orientation okay so now this works as expected so let me run this now so let's actually close this PDF document so the web form is still loading let's click on this button export to PDF the PDF document should now be generated so let's open this PDF document and see if it is generated look at that you know it's now generated in a portrait format so department date of joining you know look at that column names now they they show all of you know basically in a landscape orientation okay on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day